Getting around South Austin's been pretty tough this evening, with I-35 shut down at Ben White for the second time this year. The closure is to build the new flyovers connecting Ben White with I-35 southbound. The freeway is blocked off at the Woodward exit north of Ben White and the Stasny exit to the south. KXAN's Jacqueline Inglaze joining us from that northern closure. Jackie, this has frustrated a lot of folks today, hasn't it? Good evening to you, David. Yes, it has. And I'll tell you, right now I am on the Woodward Street overpass overlooking I-35, and we have a great bird's eye view to show you how traffic conditions are out here. I'm going to go ahead and move out of the way. You can see that I-35 at this point is still shut down. We want you to go ahead and shift your attention to the northbound access lanes. You can see that this hour we're still getting a steady flow of traffic. At times it is bumper to bumper, and this is leaving a lot of drivers very cranky. Paying top dollar at the pump is not what drivers like Marina Samaniego are griping about. It's the bumper to bumper traffic on I-35 access roads. Construction is making her commute to San Antonio longer. I don't really like it, but I have to deal with it. Portions of the interstate are closed in South Austin as construction on flyovers continues. With cranes putting up heavy beams, TxDOT closed down the highway, citing safety concerns. Whew. It's a lot. It's, uh, it's, uh, too much too much traffic, trying to get out through the way, you know, move out the way. Construction on I-35 isn't helping panhandlers like Todd Merritt. He usually makes $20 a day. Drivers in stop-and-go traffic Saturday afternoon seemed a little too angry to hand over money. He's been here an hour and made 40 cents in a box of raisins. So, no, nah, it's killing us, too. Some businesses aren't seeing detours or delays turning into dollars either. I'm not saying we are not getting benefit, but most, most likely people just taking the chance coming here using the restrooms, and they're just leaving. The growing line at his register tells a different story. I was getting low on gas, so I figured I might get stuck in traffic, so I better make sure that I have enough gas in my tank. Fender benders are a worry. That is, if you own a car. For homeless people on foot like Marin, it's even more dangerous. I waited 45 minutes to get halfway across, and then I got stuck in the middle for an hour, and I just went back. Both Samaniego and Marin hope to get where they're going without getting into an accident. Now, the headaches this construction is causing should be over soon. TxDOT spokesman John Hurt told me earlier that he hoped to have the portions of I-35 between Ben White Boulevard and Woodward Street open by midnight. That has now been pushed back to 2 a.m. Live in South Austin, Jacqueline Inglace, KXAN, Austin News.